Hey, hello. So just a couple of quick things this morning. Uh, I'm going to do my reading, a little meditation. So stick with me for a bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I want to talk about... What happened there? I want to talk about uh, service. Um, we'll call it service, right? Uh, and and, uh, and it, yeah, we'll call it service. Service is... Uh, is uh, uh, helping others, you know, and, and being available for service. And, and um, sometimes I've, you know, I, I, I talk to people and they say, well, I'm not ready. I can't do that yet. I'm not ready. I don't have it uh, 100%. I haven't got it all figured out. And uh, I, I, I want to say that, that uh, we don't need to have it all figured out. There is no such thing as having it all figured out. When we're working with other people, it's in the moment. It's it's happening now, and, and uh, often when I'm, you know, um, face to face with somebody, I'll stop and, and just say a little prayer, like to be guided, you know, to have the right words, and and because I don't know well, how do you know if I'm relying on my ego to direct me in my service work, then I'm, you know. It, it it's not you know it doesn't have depth anyway so so you know sometimes uh, we we we're afraid because we're afraid to risk you know we have to actually uh, you know we're working with somebody and and and, and you're in recovery and and you, you know yes uh, I mean, one of the best ways, of course, is just to start and read through the book with them you know and, and the message comes out of the book but your own message is a message of, you know, how's your relationship with your higher power? And and, uh, um, and that's not an easy one to talk about sometimes. It's like, holy shit, how do I talk about that? Uh, I was with a fellow last night. I don't know if this is coming out very well yet. But anyway, I was with a fellow last night who has been around the 12-step program a lot for years. And, and he's just coming back off a of bad uh, drinking and meth run. You know, and uh, and he said, I, you know, I know the program, and he does. He can quote, he can recite. He uh, he does, but he doesn't have a relationship with a higher power. See, the twelve step program is all about building a relationship with a higher power. Period. I'm not making that shit up. It's just a fact. And and uh, so um, the other thing that comes up for me, I guess, is that. Uh, um, there's this idea that somehow we can't carry the message unless our house is in order. And, and uh, my house is never going to be in order. You know, I'm, you know, far from organized business-wise. I, you know, I, I still uh, am dealing with the failing of my last business. I've got, you know, I've, I had, I've made every mistake on the planet. You know, if I... You know, <laughs> no misery in you know, and so, um, in in a way, our house is never going to be in order. There's always going to be, you know, if you look at yourself, if I look at myself and say, you know, am I always honest? No, you know, have I always been straight with people? No, if I cleaned all that up, lots of it. Is there still more to clean up? Yes, you know, does that stop me from carrying a message? No, it doesn't, you know, and, and you know, if, uh, we, we sometimes have to risk. I feel like this is a risk, you know, to do this, to come on here every day and, and uh, to share. I didn't mean for this to happen like this. I, I didn't plan this, you know, and, and uh, um, but, you know, maybe somebody hears it. So it's the same for everybody. If, if, if we want to grow, you know, in our relationship uh, with the moment, with God, with universal intelligence, with we want to, then we need to practice uh, love, and this is love in action. You know, this is love. This is taking a call at two in the morning. This is whatever it is, but we we have to do it. And and uh, that's my message today. Is that don't wait till you think you got it figured out. That's ego. It's totally ego. You know. You know, so yes, 
when it says in the book, make sure your house is in order and then you can carry the message. You know, it has a beautiful piece in the, uh, <coughs> many, many places in the, in, the, in the big book. It says, you know, helping others, throw ourselves harder into helping others is, is you know, and, and it is essential, you know. And, and uh, at the end of on page 164, I think, uh, it, it talks about in, at the end of the vision for you, um, how we can build a community, you know. And, and uh, hmm. I love this, you know. So if you're in the twelve step world and, and and you and you wonder why it's not working, you know, it often it's because you you're actually not even not doing the twelfth step. You're not carrying the message. And I, I'm not the guy who thinks you've you've got to have it, you know. It says, having had a spiritual experience as a result of these steps, we carry the message to alcoholics and addicts and, and people who are still suffering. But, you know, um, who's to judge whether you've had your a spiritual experience? Of course you have. Of course you have. And, and, uh, and it's growing and maturing and changing and, and becoming more obvious to you. But of course you have. And so, you know, carry the message. Be there for people. It doesn't have to be dramatic can just you know go visit them and and you know it's in action love is a verb it's a an action word you know and um, the last two paragraphs in this book uh, it says our book is meant to be suggestive only we realize that uh, we know a little god will constantly disclose more to you as and to us so they're saying it's an ongoing thing right Ask him in the morning meditation, in your morning meditation, what you can do each day for the person who is still sick. The answers will come. If your own house is in order. So in, in, when it says if your own house is in order, it, it, it means in the moment. You know, how where are we connected right now? You know, if we're still living, um, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a judgment thing in a way. You know, do you, you know if, if you're, you're feeling the, the oneness, the connection. It's a bit of, of a subjective uh, statement, but who knows? Nobody can judge. Only you can. And if your own house is in order, uh, but obviously you cannot transmit what you haven't got. So see to it, your relationship with him is right. So that's the whole thing. We're building a relationship with this higher power. And great events will come to pass for you and countless others. This is a great fact for us. Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of, uh, of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and we will surely meet some of you as we trudge the happy road, uh, the road of happy destiny. May God bless you and keep you until then. It's beautiful. So, anyway, the ma the, the whole thing is risk. It's okay to give this away. You know, whatever your gift is, get out there and give it. You know, in these times right now, I rarely talk about the current times, you know, but in these times right now, there's a lot of people, you know, kind of blue, you know, I don't know if that describes it, but there's a lot of sadness and, and, uh, you know, and, you know, I had a buddy call me this morning and he said, what are you doing today? I said, nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. You know, and it's not that I'm not doing, but it, there's no much going on in the outside world I, I'm I have lots of, that's happening but but it's there's a lot of us that are just you know just kind of on hold a bit so reach out that's my message today reach out reach out reach out anyway I don't know if that came <laughs> across very well uh, um, anyway love you guys and and uh, um, I'm gonna read the today's uh, reading of the day the 23rd of January and uh, um, twenty third of January, January twenty second, January twenty third. This is from this little book, the twenty four hour day book. This is kind of how this all started back in May. I thought, shit, I'm gonna, um, you know, read this on a daily basis, and hopefully, it's been of some value. You know, it's certainly been of value to me, and and. Uh, Hopefully it's been of some value to you. An alcoholic, it said, is a person whose drinking has got him into a blind alley. So he's talking about just about alcoholics. He hasn't been able to learn anything from his drinking experience. Uh, 
He is always making the same mistakes and suffering the same consequences over and over again. He refuses to admit that he's alcoholic. He still thinks he's handling the stuff. He can handle the stuff. He won't swallow his pride and admit that he's different from other drinkers. He won't face the fact that he must spend the rest of his life without booze. He can visualize like he can't visualize life without having a drink. Am I out of the blind alley? So that's you know talking about the early days in recovery. You know, or not even there yet. You know, uh, still trying to figure out how we can continue to live in that delusion. Meditation today. I pray that God has all power. It is His to give and His to withhold, but He will not withhold it from the person who dwells near Him. The relationship again, because when it passes intensely from God to that person, because then it passes insensibly, insensibly from. God to that person. It is breathed in by the person who lives in God's presence. He will learn to live in God's presence, and then I will learn to live in God's presence, and then I will have those things which I desire of Him. Strength, power, and love. God's power is available to all who need it and are willing to accept it. Beautiful. I pray for, pray for the day. I pray that I may get myself out of the way so that God's power may flow in. I pray that I may surrender myself to that power. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, I mean, that's it. If there was something else, you know, there was some other way. If, you know, success in business was the way, you know, and although there's nothing wrong with that, I would say that's the way, you know. If hiking every day was the way, you know, I would say that's the way, you know, but... The, it's all, it's everything as long as we're in this relationship with our inner self, with the, you know, and humility is needed for that, you know, just to surrender and say, yes, okay, I get that <coughs> from my ego mind, I cannot run the show. So show me what you have me to be over and over again. In all the teachings, it suggests that we we become willing to uh, follow direction. Okay. So we're going to meditate for a little bit. Um, yeah, we're going to meditate for a little bit. So join me if you'd like. Find yourself a comfortable space. Just, and, uh, uh, just yeah, drop down into this moment into your breath, into the body, to now, just drop in, be here now. So this connection with oneness, with love, with universal intelligence, with God, happens, I mean, it's always there, it's always there. And yet when we sit quietly, when we sit quietly, um, We sense it, we drop into it, we be still. Be still.
just recognize that they're not your thoughts. You can just watch them. Become aware of them. Practice awareness. Come back when you're ready. Mm. <clears throat> um, I think Monday night we're going to have a meditation group. Um, so join us Monday at 7 o'clock if you'd like. And uh, yeah, we'll have a meditation group on Monday. Talk about consciousness and and meditate together. Okay. Um. Mm. All right. That's it. 
Love you guys.